It's already a world leader in developing vaccines and technologies to fight against infectious diseases. And now the Vaccine and Infectious Disease Organization at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon, also known as VITO, is expanding its work. It's becoming the first non-government lab to upgrade to level four security. And to tell me more, I'm joined by Director and CEO Volker Gertz. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So what benefit is there to moving to what's called a CL4? Yeah, so as Vito is becoming Canada's Centre for Pandemic Research, what this upgrade allows us to do is essentially work with any future disease, whether it's a human or an animal disease. So how is that different from what you're doing now? So currently we are what is called a level three, a containment level three facility. There is many of them in Canada. We are one of the largest in the world right now, but really allowing us to upgrade 10% of the existing space. So we're not proposing to build a new building. We're just upgrading some of our space um, to the highest level will really allow us to, in the future, rapidly respond to any new disease and therefore make sure that Canada is better prepared so that we don't find us in a situation again as we found us with this pandemic. Uh, this will take some substantial funding. Where is the money coming from? So this is part of Vito's project, as I mentioned, to become Canada's Centre for Pandemic Research. And that has various elements to it. So the upgrade is one, but then there's also the manufacturing facility, which is almost uh, construction complete now. And then there is also um, building of a new animal facility, which will enable us then to house those exotic species from which we see these diseases jump into humans. So bats are a good example. We know that bats harbor all these viruses and often they jump in into another species and from there into humans. And so having the ability to house and work with these animals again, will help us to rapidly respond. And so the overall package for all of this is $67 million. Um, and so funding is provided by the federal government, by the provincial government, but also by the municipal government, in the city of Saskatoon. And then very importantly, by many, many donors who have come forward and have made donations to our fundraising campaign from very large, from a million dollar donations to a hundred dollar donations. And, and so that's really, really encouraging for us and shows the, the support from the community. You guys got a lot of attention earlier in the pandemic for your work with the COVID-19 virus. Where are you at with your COVID-19 vaccine? Yeah, so that's moving forward as planned. Um, so we're doing two things at the moment. Number one is we're organizing and about to start actually a booster study here in Canada in multiple sites where we use our vaccine as a booster to already authorized vaccines that, that many of us have received. You know, this is really because as we all assume, COVID is not gonna go away and we will need in the future um, booster immunizations. And so our vaccine offers many advantages as a booster to some of the authorized vaccines than, than others have. The other probably equally important aspect is that um, our vaccine is also a proven technology, a technology that is very easy to handle and, and easy to use in remote locations. And so part of what we're doing right now is actually um, working with countries in Africa to make this vaccine available for um, Africa, for other low and middle income countries. Um, and, and it's amazing. I mean, there is countries that still um, less than 20% of the population has even access to vaccines, right? And so providing our technology to um, these countries will help them to, to overcome that critical gap. At Vito, you've also been campaigning to manufacture the vaccines on site. Where's the st what's the status of that? Yeah, so the manufacturing facility, as I said, is part of this um, package, if you want. Uh, construction is almost complete. In fact, turnover of the, the new facility is just in a few weeks from now. Um, equipment is moving in almost on a daily basis here. It's quite spectacular, actually, to see these large pieces of equipment coming in. And uh, we're hoping to have the facility commissioned as scheduled in the late summer and then start the critical work um, beginning of the fall. Wow, thanks so much for your time, Volker. Thank you for your interest. Volker Gertz is the director and CEO of Vito in Saskatoon.